not go. Going on a trip. As a matter of fact, I am. A little holiday in Cornwall. Not today, you're not. You're coming with us? Oh, I don't think so. Now, if you'll excuse me. You don't have a choice, old man. So, Mark, and you like us? Burton right now. Nick off. Come on, Gaff. Try me. You're only a boy. It wasn't none of my doing, sir. We was just to bring you to it, that's all. We wasn't supposed to hurt you. Well, in that case, it'd be a shame to disappoint her, wouldn't it? Take me to her. Madam, you hired three men to drag me here. Unless you had a devil of a good reason, you'll regret that. I regret it already, Mr. Lake. Ten men would have been better. Who are you? How do you come to know my name? <laughs> I see all, know all. It's in my job description. Don't you believe in magic? On the contrary. Send the boy away. Wait outside, Tom. My knight in shining leather. I always wanted a champion of my very own. No smile for an old friend, Lancelot. You were never a friend of mine, Morgan Le Fay. A thousand years is a long time to hold a grudge. I thought I was the last. Gawain, Percival. The realm itself, all gone. When they laid Guinevere to rest, I thought surely I'd follow soon after. I lived on and on, wandering the world. Fighting for hire, India, Cathay, the Crusades. Now, ah, why am I telling you this? You of all people. Perhaps because no one else would believe you. Do you think I don't feel lonely? On the other hand, consider the alternative. I would welcome it. I'm tired, Morgan. And yet this endless life is the curse I must bear because of my sin. Your sin? You mean your fling with Gwen? Merlin always said you had no morals. Merlin said a lot of things. Between him and Mallory, I got horrible press. Sit down. I have something to show you. Forever somewhere in fairy. A cave in Cornwall, actually. The nymph who lured him there was one of my creatures. What can I say? The spell was supposed to make him sleep forever. <laughs> but the old coot was Major League. Why do you suppose you're in such a hurry to get to Cornwall? Call it an old man's whim. <laughs> yes, but the old man was Merlin. You wanted to know the reason why you're still alive and kicking? My guess is, he laid the spell with his last conscious breath. Merlin? Why? A friend in a strange time, a familiar face, a strong arm, a loyal heart, cannon fodder, all of the above. I'll let that pass. For showing me this, I could forgive you anything. Save it. Merlin's the one that wants forgiving, not me. I don't believe that Merlin had anything. If you're going to start with that speech about how wise and good he was, you can save your breath. People were just eggs in Merlin's omelette. 
And he didn't give a damn who got broken. That's not true. Isn't it? What crime did Merlin ever blink at so long as it served his policy? How many wars did he start to unify the realm, Lance? How many died so that Camelot could shine more brightly? Your great, wise wizard started by helping Uther rape my mother. By the end, he had King Arthur so brainwashed he would have burned his own wife at the stake if you hadn't stopped him. The king had no choice. The he law was... The bloody law! What kind of man puts the law ahead of his own family? You, Lance, I don't think so. I seem to recall that adultery is against Merlin's law as well. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to salt that wound, really. Perhaps not. I doubt that Merlin intended all that came to pass, either. Whatever happened to chivalry? It's dead. Or hadn't you heard? Merlin's dangerous, Lance. He's my friend. If Merlin wants me, I will go to him. Oh, uh, one other thing. I'm taking the boy with me. Another old man's whim, I see. Tom, come in here. You all right? He hasn't tried nothing, is he? Don't worry, I'm not his type. What are these for? The cave. What bloody cave? Where? In Cornwall, of course. Daddy boy. Sorcery takes some getting used to, I know. How? Where? Cornwall. Cornwall, you're daft. But strong, mind you. Daft, but strong. I knew this land, Tom. I remember the first time I rode through it. It was not far from here that I met the king for the first time, all unknowing. Was that George now or Henry the Bloody Eighth? Neither one, I'm afraid. It was a long time ago. When I first arrived in England from Joyous Guard. You wait here, Tom. I'm going in. Sorcery, he says. Wait here, he says. Who the hell does he think he is? That's what I'd like to know. Ought to just walk out of here. That's what he ought to do. What could he do about it? Rip your bloody head off. That's what he do about it, Tom. Ha, <laughs> 
Lights. <laughs> Tell me, lights are not the world. Is it a better place or worse? Both. What? Someone is always fighting somewhere. On and on, forever. Injustice, oppression. Yes. They'll never learn. This time, we must not leave our task unfinished. I knew, I knew I could always rely upon you. But you were night and staunchest warrior ever to sit at the table round. I gave up war a long time ago. I can't even remember the wars I've fought in, much less the men I've killed. And for what? What were any of them for? What did we build with centuries of blood and widows' tears? They have world wars now. They number them to tell them apart, but they fight them without me. What of your oath? To right wrongs, to punish the wicked. The longer I lived, the more difficult it became to determine what was a wrong, and who was wicked. Galahad would not have abandoned his knightly oaths. <laughs> Lancelot, Lancelot, what foolishness this is. I have no doubt that you'll be at my side when I set my new armor on the throne of England. Kings are mere ornaments in this time, Merlin. The people prefer to choose their own leaders now. Peasants, peasants? What a foolish notion. How can they understand what's best for them? Merlin, you don't understand. Arthur ruled a tiny kingdom. Today there are realms that take up half the world. We fought our wars with sword and lance. Now there are weapons that can fire whole cities in an instant and poison the earth for longer than you have slept. Today the world has no room for mistakes, Merlin. I do not make mistakes. You're wrong. You slept through the end. The rest of us paid the price. I saw Arthur's eyes when they tied Guinevere to the stake lit the fire. Later I saw him die at the hands of his own son and Mordred on the sword of his father. No, oh, no, Merlin. I want no part of these new schemes of yours. Our hour is past. You think I've lost my powers? Sleep restores, Lancelot. Observe. But I never doubted your power or your good intentions. Only your judgment. Let it be that. It is good you told me immediately. Walk with me. Wandering Lance, he was the champion of my long sleep against those who might have wanted to do me harm. I fear nothing when the Hollow Knight walks beside me. Who is this boy? Tom is my squire. Your squire? How far the world has fallen. This boy lacks even the rudiments of chivalry. I have half a mind to turn him into a goose. Why you want to talk? No, it is an age without magic, Merlin. The boy means no disrespect. He simply does not understand. Let us teach him then. Walk with us, boy. Outside.
chilled to the bone. I, my scarf, I, I left it back in the cave. is this the true Stonehenge in the land between the worlds a holy place great power did you really think to fool me Lance this final boy is no squire it was all arranged when I wove my spell a simple compulsion so that you would bring someone with you someone unworthy I'm afraid that for the complete restoration of my powers, it is required that a sacrifice be performed here, in this place. Sacrifice? Now, now wait, what are you talking about? You, you can't I'm just... sorry, boy, but it is necessary. Step within the stones and I promise you'll feel no pain. You're right there, because it's you that's going to be feeling the pain. No, no, Tom. He has powers you can't imagine. I can't allow this, Merlin. Nor can you stop it. You think I fear an empty suit of armor? Even now I could take that thing apart. No, old friend. I have been forced to withdraw the spell that protected you. The weakness you feel even now is the first true touch of your true age. Consider it a sign of respect. Your power was something that even a wizard might fear. And since you are determined to oppose me, I was forced to remove it. Trot! Let the boy go, Merlin, or I'll be forced to dismantle your toy. It is good that you recall your boasts of knighthood, since all else has left you. Give me a sword and a horse, wizard, and I'll show you what has left me. You will have to look long and hard for a horse. No living creatures dwell upon this plain. And I very much doubt that you could bear the weight of a suit of armor that alone lift a lance. Still, your death would do as well as his. I've half a mind to let you try. You've half a mind, period, you old coot. So, since you've fallen so far as to champion the witch who destroyed Camelot, you shall have the death you seek. Enter. All that you require is within. Accept my squire. I see that you remember my arms, Merle. Black was never my color. Since you betrayed the memory of Camelot, it is most appropriate. No matter. It's not the color of the armor the man within. If you will, Tom, help the Black Knight don his armor. still seem to move with some strength. Do I? What magic of the years taught you? No magic, Merlin. Caution. When I went back for my scarf, I drank the rest of your elixir.
over. Oh, stop it, you old goat. <laughs> champion is done. It changes nothing. There's too much at stake. Stand where you are. I'll be forced to dispatch you personally. Should then. I told you, Merlin, my killing days are done. As if a wizard could outlive his magic. I don't think I'm up to best two out of three. <laughs> uh, I damn well better get some good press out of this one. She, she's going to be all right and all this, and she, she, she's magic and all. She's such... to understand what Guinevere saw in you, old man. <sighs> On the road, the right fork will take you back. My place. London. God. Don't hate him, Tom. 
is just an old man who slept too long and dreamt too hard. It's this way, the Raj, London, she said. Hey, that's the wrong way. Once upon a time, there was a realm of myth and magic, a high, bright dream that shimmered briefly and then was gone, leaving only memories and one ageless, weary, slightly tarnished hero who proved at last that wisdom and valor go hand in hand on Earth, in Camelot, and in the Twilight Zone.